Hello all my lost girlfriends, my name is Forge and welcome to a brand new video. So today we're looking at the brand new Minecraft launcher. So right now, this isn't the new Minecraft launcher, this is the second iteration. As we all know, it was the last one that they introduced, and now they're going a little bit further out. And they're introducing another Minecraft launcher. Now I'll tell you what, this is actually going to be one of my favorite Minecraft launchers, and you guys do not want to miss this one. Trust me, it's awesome. So if I go ahead and come over to launch to settings, the launch options, so go over to settings, we have ourselves update the beta versions of the launcher. Now if you go ahead and check that, it's going to tell you that there is an update the next time the launcher is started up. So once you go ahead and start up the launcher, it's going to go ahead and start giving you an update. And after that update, as you guys can see, it's going to go ahead and give you the brand new iteration, the third iteration of the Minecraft Java launcher. So I'm just going to sit here for a little bit and I'll see you guys when it's all done. Once it's done downloading, this is what this is now going to look like, and I absolutely like this. It looks really clean, looks really slick, and more importantly, it looks just like our Minecraft launcher should look. So, you've got ourselves a nice little background picture, which I really do like. So, we've got like the skeleton, the enderman, and a creeper. We've got Alex and Steve. Now, coming over here, we have installations. So, you're going to be able to choose between just stable, between snapshots, or between historical. Now, if you go ahead and choose stable, then this is gonna, just going to go and show you like all the different versions of Minecraft from the first release, which is 1.0, all the way to the current release of 1.14.2. Uh, but anyway, if I go ahead and come over here, we got snapshots. Now, selecting snapshots, this is going to go ahead and give you an entire list of Minecraft snapshots. So look how many snapshots there are within the game. And of course, I got a few of them that I ended up downloading before for, because you can't get them any other way. But on here, you will get access to pretty much all the default different snapshots of Minecraft. And just look at this. So it ranges all the way from 1.5 all the way to the current version of the game. Pretty awesome stuff here. Now, selecting historical, this is just going to go ahead and give you, well, all the historical versions of the game. So like you can go from old beta 1.8.1 all the way to old alpha RD 1322.11. So yeah, lots and lots of different old versions of Minecraft here. Absolutely awesome stuff as it keeps saying. Um, but anyway, if you just want to go ahead and like create up a different profile, then right here, you can just go and call this whatever you want. So I can call this test. And we also got the ability of now choosing a resolution without actually having to type it out, which I really do like quite a bit. So you can choose auto, and it's just going to go ahead and go from what your Minecraft screen actually is. Well, not your Minecraft screen, but your desktop screen, whatever. But you will go ahead and be able to choose your resolution, which is really great stuff. Um, but anyway, coming down here, we have more options. So you can go ahead and use Java Executable if you want to. Or you can use JVM arguments. Pretty much up to you of what you want to do there. Um, but now right up here, you're going to be able to choose your icon for your Minecraft profile. And now, if you don't want to use any of these, we can go ahead and click on the plus button, and you're going to be able to choose from your own 16 by 16 logo for the launcher, which is pretty awesome. But I'm just going to go ahead and click on cancel for now, and we're pretty much done with installations. But going down here, we have some skins. So skins, as it goes right now, you actually have to go back to the Minecraft launcher, just like before, to go ahead and like manage your skins, stuff like that. Um, of course, it's not a really big deal. All they have to do is like sign in and change the skin that way. But skins, they will be coming back to the launcher uh, very soon. So yeah, keep an eye out for that one. But now the returning thing is patch notes. That's right, they actually got patch notes back in the launcher. Just like before with like the first launcher, you can now go and see all the different changes within the game, which is pretty awesome. I really do like that. But unlike before, this actually just gives you an entire list of that current update. Before, it would just give you just a pretty much a summary of the update and pretty much just a summary of what's going on within the updates. So, yeah, it's pretty much all that they did right there. It's just made an entire list for that. Now, if you want to click on older updates, then this is just going to go ahead and like take you to the bugs.mojang website. And now the returning feature is going to be patch notes. So you're now going to be able to see an entire list of stuff that's been added to that update. 
I mean, like right here it's actually just really really awesome and if you guys remember this is how it used to be back in the old Minecraft launcher which was of course the original one and now they decided to go and bring it back which I really do like okay coming here we have souls news so now you're gonna be able to see your news in a different tab instead of being the first thing that you see when you load it up but right here you get access to five different articles now you just have to click on them and it'll take you to the Minecraft website and now coming down here we have settings and if you decide that you no longer want this version of the launcher for some reason you can just go ahead and uncheck that and then it's going to tell you that there is a launcher update and whenever you go ahead and do that it's going to go ahead and take you back to the last version of the launcher is which is the one that you're probably currently on if you just now are learning about the new launcher um, but anyway coming over here we have accounts so we can go ahead and click on accounts but that doesn't do anything at all we can also add in account so you can like sign in something like that with another account and then the about section just goes ahead and tells you the current version of the launcher and when that version of the launcher was released and so it was released yesterday or whenever you're watching this it was released on june 14th of 2019 at 150151 um but please just give me your thoughts on what you think of this down below in the comments because i really do like this new version of the launcher it's definitely really cool and i think a lot of people are definitely going to enjoy this version but just give me your thoughts and if you guys enjoyed this video then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe for more videos in the future and for now i hope you have a logical day and i will catch you guys next time